Hi friends! Do you want to restore the home folder of a user that has been deleted? If the deleted user's home folder was saved as a disk image, you can restore the user's home folder. Let's see how this can be done. On the Finder menu, click on Go and then click on Computer. To locate the home folder in the user's folder, double-click on Drive, double-click on the user's folder and then double-click on the deleted user's folder. The file name of the home folder is the same as the user's account name and ending with .dmg extension. Double-click on the disk image to open a window showing the contents of the home folder. Drag the user's window to a position from where you can easily access both of the windows. Click on the deleted user's folder window and then click on the back key to move to the user's folder. In the user's folder, Create a new folder to serve as the deleted user's home folder. To do this, right-click on a blank area and then click on New Folder. Enter the user account password and then click on OK. Enter the deleted user's account name as the name for the new folder and then press the Return key. Enter the user account password and then click on OK. Double-click on the user's account folder to open it. Click on the Home Folder Contents window and then select all the folders. Right-click on any folder and then click on Copy Items. Click on the User's Folder window. Right-click on the blank area and then click on Paste Items. Now close both the windows. Choose Apple Menu and then select System Preferences. In the Preferences window, click on Users and Groups. Click the lock icon to make changes. Enter the user password and then click on the Unlock button. Click on the Add symbol below the list of users. Choose a type of user from the New Account pop-up menu. Enter a full name for the user and then press the Tab key. An account name is generated automatically. Press the Tab key again. Enter a password for the user in the Password and Verify fields and then enter a password hint to help the user remember the password. Click on Create User. Click on Use Existing Folder. To give the user administrative privileges, select the checkbox next to Allow User to Administer This Computer and then click on OK. To manage the user with parental controls, select the checkbox next to Enable Parental Controls and then click on Enable. Close the Users and Groups window, click on the Apple menu and then click on Restart to restart your Mac and allow the changes to take effect. Wasn't that quick and easy? Thanks for watching.